part of my presentation was looking into the future. It is a little bit speculative, but what is clear is that inflammation is present in Parkinson's disease. And if you look at measures like C-reactive protein and others, there's increased inflammation, and this is not healthy. There are also certain trophic factors like brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which are decreased in Parkinson's disease. So any intervention which reduces inflammation and concurrently increases trophic factors is good. The study I referred to in my talk is a very, very recent study in which uh, a research team had uh, mice exercise on a treadmill, and then they would uh, infuse the blood from the mice into another set of mice. And they would find that the other set of mice now with the newly uh, infused blood did very well on a fear avoidance task. And they also showed a concomitant increase in BDNF. So the idea for the future is that people become more and more frail. And if they lose the ability to exercise at high intensity, that there may be treatments which can um, allow people to have increases in BDNF. I think this is a little way off, but it's very exciting. 